So, I have the pleasure to talk to you today about a rather large case study, the user experience transformation, or strategy behind one of Europe's largest digital transformation. It was a large bank, unfortunately I can't disclose the name. On some slides you'll find some grey boxes, because I just can't show everything at this point in time, because it's just not live yet. To introduce briefly, what is the challenge in banking today? And here are the actual figures from 2014, 2013, 2014. And basically, customers spend one minute per year in direct contact with a branch advisor, but they spend 400 minutes online. Because we all, as banking customers, we log in two or three times per year, and that just adds up to that huge number. And in 2014, 60% of us just never went to a branch, but relied on the digital channels only. Only 40% went to a branch at all. And by the end of the year, mobile will be leading with some 55% customer interactions, closely followed by desktop, and the branch taking a quarter of a percentile, despite that many banks have hundreds, if not thousands, of branches. So you could easily argue that the digital channels are today already the number one. That the branch is merely an alternative channel. Now there is a small problem with that. That is actually sales numbers. If you look at both volume and the numbers, 90% of the sales that banks are doing today are still happening in branches. So broadly, banks don't yet to make money, don't manage yet to make money out of their customers. That is one of the key challenges banks face today. And that is also one of the reasons why this large bank has actually asked us the question, well, okay, how do we actually solve it? What is the strategy and design approach to bring customers online, to engage with them? to sell something online, to, because they have to make the transformation from an offline organization to a digital one, because customers simply don't go there anymore. Before I go in, into the actual case, just a brief introduction as to the framework and approach we have been using, and potentially a word up front on why is digital so complex? And you have to get all these disciplines together from strategy to innovation to product to marketing to the experience to technology to requirements engineering. Not only have to get all of these disciplines together, but you have to get them across the life cycle of such an online portal of such a program together from strategy to concept to execution to ongoing improvement. Now you might have McKinsey walking in doing a beautiful business case and then leaving you doing the rest. Or you might have a beautiful global brand agency, but then it's another agency, a local one, who for one country will do some UX things, some UX concepts. Typically, very often, you will find many, many holes in there as well. There is very often no UX strategy, very often no innovation strategy, very often no product strategy. The big challenge is obviously, how do we get that stuff integrated? Therefore, to solve that question and to provide an answer, we have developed a framework how you would approach such major relaunches or launches of new products, new portals, etc. And I don't want to cover so much the theory, but rather talk to you about it. Throughout the next slides, throughout the case, you'll see what is happening. So how we approached it, we had a first six-week phase. Not to get the details right, but basically throw the stone in the right direction to get the overarching guidelines correct for the strategy that this organization would need to put in place. And after it, once we got the big guidelines in place, we went on to a longer term strategy track that would actually start detailing out that strategy and explain really what it meant. In parallel, the execution already started on some details, um, yeah, and we are now finally not far away from the launch. But let's talk about the first phase, so phase of six weeks, where we were five people, basically, plus some people from the customer, and looked at the big picture. Where we really started was in segmentation, understanding who are these customer groups. 
And I guess the biggest learning we have had there, and the biggest thing yeah, I, I would propose to really look into is that segmentation is fundamentally different if you look at online segmentation and branch segmentation and overall segmentation. I mean, how important is the group of wealth people, yeah, of wealth management, customers for a bank? It's super important. But for offline, they are extremely important, but online, they are less important. Because regardless if they use online or offline, the bank will just do anything it takes to keep these customers happy. However, for the broad masses of retail customers who might have an income of, say, 1,500 euros per month and who might be working at a supermarket or something, the bank just, it's, it's not profitable to keep these people in a branch. So for online, they are supremely important, but for offline, they are just not as important. Nobody sees the total picture. And you don't see the picture, you just are not able to prioritize. And you're not able to see where the options are. So what we did instead were we came up with one large printout that would cover all of the functional translation of what user needs and the business needs. Then you could see on one single slide, basically on one single large printout, what potentially this bank could be building to respond to what is to be done. is a blueprint basically for an online banking for this bank. That is broadly what we covered in the first six weeks. So we looked into who are our customers, who is important in there for the digital channel specifically, what are their needs, what is the business needs, what are the business needs, come up with a vision that actually does make sense, and come up with a first translation as to what this could mean. In the second phase, the longer term strategy, where we really cooked off, we looked again at this picture from different dimensions. From a user perspective, where can we make the biggest impact for our customers? From a business perspective, um, where are the biggest levers on the business case? How can we, where do we most need to change our service model? And from a technical perspective, what is complex but potentially poorly understood? And based on that, we came up with 13 areas that we needed to deep dive on. One of them was, I mean, here you get a few ideas. One of them was the area of advice. Now, if people don't come to branches anymore, we probably need to somehow able, be able to help them online. That's why advice was in there. Dashboard is an obvious pick. Yeah? Everybody has to go somewhere after login. Or personalization. If people spend 400 minutes per year online, well, what can we do with all the data they're leaving in these 400 minutes to better serve, ultimately? And each of these 13 areas was, was addressed in a sprint. And the sprint was basically a two-week exercise which, and a great strength of the program was that because it was so structured, we could simply repeat it all over again. So on a Monday, um, we would take a piece of that scope landscape, so a piece of advice, look at it, discuss in the team, okay, what is this really about? On a Tuesday, we would kick off technology and ask ourselves the question, okay, what is out there uh, today already? What do we need to build potentially? And on a Tuesday as well, we invited real customers based on those personas in and asked them, okay, dear 28-year-old uh, Mallory who has just had uh, your first job, what do you expect or how can we help you here? On a Wednesday, we would have business workshops and ask the business, okay, guys, what do you need? And then we basically had a week where we would develop different concepts for the different devices to respond and solve the challenges we have found in that area, for example, in the area of advice or search. Based on that, we could deviate scope definitions, and we're looking into the business context again to say, okay, how do we measure success, for instance? And back on a Friday or Thursday or Friday of the second week, we re-invited the customers in and asked, hey, here is at least a pre paper prototype or something clickable but very basic. Does this solve your need? Does this, is this appealing to you? And we video filmed um, those sessions. That's how the sprint worked. Now here is an unusually complex 
cross-channel custom experience journey. That is about potentially one of the margin highest products of the bank, um, housing, credit, mortgage. Basically, we looked at, okay, how does this work out today? How does this serve? How does a bank serve today its customers for this very key product? How well do they support the customer or not support the customer, but where the customer is expecting actually that level of support? So we looked at customer expectations in that context, needs, etc. Look where the organization is today. And then we went on designed the target journeys against which we then mapped individual screens, individual solutions. And importantly, the journey did, was not only online, but really from the beginning. So we looked at, okay, what house can I afford was part of the journey, for instance. So that is an example of a wireframe that we got to do in these two-level sprints. Out of these, we have probably done a couple of hundred. And we have documented the key requirements that this would entail as well. From a business perspective, um, we looked at the key questions like, what is the strategic rationale? Why would you do advice, actually, online as opposed to over the phone or send a, an advisor out there? I mean, does it make sense? What are the value drivers? I mean, where are the levers? How do I measure success? What are the key business capabilities? I mean, do I need to display product adverts or whatsoever in there? So we rated really each functionality from a customer perspective. Although from a business perspective, what is the impact on the number of customers, the impact on number, of the utilization rate, um, the impact on the different business centers? I mean, will that help sell more insurances, more whatever contracts? And last but not least, all that IT and organizational complexity, how difficult is it basically to make that happen? Then the last important question we needed to answer. Okay, now we know what we have when we will go live. And we know the target state, but now we have to build a roadmap. And obviously the prioritization really helped us here, um, which allowed us to build a detailed roadmap where differentiated by product domain, so we would divide it in personal finance management, dashboard, daily banking, I mean, across the scale. In need three months releases, we had a roadmap figured out that would make yeah, an in-between between quick wins and doing strategically the right thing. That was the art of building that roadmap.